Hi everyone, welcome to our one year review of the CCM Axis 2 equipment. Uh, truth be told, I've actually only managed to use it on the ice for a total of nine months so far, uh, having missed three months of hockey with hip surgery last year. Um, but I still feel like we've used this more than enough to be able to give you a fair review uh, to let you know how the equipment performs and what I think of it. Uh, so with that in mind, we're going to dive straight in and have a look at the leg pads. So those that watched the first review of these pads last year, you remember me saying that this is quite a heavy leg pad. Um, it's actually still the heaviest leg pad that I've tested in the last couple of years. Um, but the way that it's built and the weight distribution, you don't notice it at all when you're on the ice. Um, I was pleasantly surprised when I first tried these out on the ice that you really don't notice the weight at all. It's uh, distributed in such a way that it, you know, you, it doesn't affect your game whatsoever. Um, I did speak to CCM about the weight of the leg pad and they said that because it's the Total Custom Pro, like the NHL spec, um, some of the materials that are used are a little bit heavier, a little bit denser, which contributes towards the uh, towards the weight of the leg pad. So that was CCM's sort of explanation for it. And having seen how well this pad has held up over the last year, I can totally believe that. Um, the sort of the rigidity and stiffness of the leg pad is almost exactly the same as it was when it first came out of the box, which for me is a fantastic thing. I really like a stiff leg pad. So the fact that this has held up so well over the past year is uh, is fantastic. Um, I can't say enough good things about the build quality. Uh, there's zero durability issues in this whatsoever. Not even any wear spots on the on the toe or at the top here, which you'd normally get. Um, especially with the bad UK ice that we quite often get, it will rip up the inside of the leg pad quite easily. But there's there's not a mark on these whatsoever. So I can't say enough good things about the durability and the build quality of these leg pads. Um, Going on to the uh, the main features of the leg pad that we looked at last year, the uh, the DRS Pro, the dynamic response system, this sort of solid one piece landing surface on the inside of the leg pad, by far my favourite feature that CCM have ever put into a leg pad. Um, the way that this offers stability and keeps that pad surface flush to the ice there, and stops any kind of like roll in the leg pad is absolutely fantastic. Um, it feels great when you're using it on the ice, full of confidence that you've got a, a full butterfly seal. And it just keeps the leg pad all in one place. Um, so that's a really, really great feature. And I'm really, really impressed with that and how it's performed, um, not just on paper, but on the ice as well. Um, so the only things that I didn't use, so I didn't use the uh, the quick motion strapping system, which CCM built into there. I kept these quite old school. And I think I'm ready on my next set of, leg, my next set of pads to move to the quick motion strapping. Um, I'd like to be able to sort of review that properly. Um, now that I've tested versions of it with other leg pads. Um, but the, the way that these have held up, the straps are all absolutely fine. Um, there's been no durability issues, as I've mentioned. Um, and yeah, they've, they've just held up. They're still as stiff as they were the day that I got them. So, you know, as, as far as the leg pads are concerned, cannot speak any higher of it. I think if it was lighter, it would be a 10 out of 10 leg pad. But the weight hasn't been an issue for me whatsoever it performs great so i've really got nothing bad to say about it whatsoever so if we move on now to the gloves uh we'll start with the uh the catcher so i was a little bit skeptical in my first video um that i made that ccm had changed what they didn't need to change um but having sort of used it got used to it broken the catcher in i love it it performs just like a, a normal 590 break um Leverve design catcher which obviously aren't involved in this anymore but your traditional ccm reebok coho type catcher it performs exactly the same as that it, i've really sort of grown to love this catcher um it's 15 percent lighter than its previous axis uh sort of model and a lot of that i think is down to sort of some of the thinning out of materials you do feel like it's generally a little bit thinner than previous models um but doesn't cause any issues. I've had no palm issues whatsoever. I've got the game ready sort of D3O palm there, so it's very well protected. But I've had absolutely no issues with stingers on the palm at all. Uh, the double T skate lace pocket is by far my favorite. I will order that on any type of glove from any manufacturer. That's how the spec of catcher that I will order now in terms of the T. Um, as we go into the backhand here, so the uh, the sort of the cuff here i still miss the old shaped cuff that ccm had on their gloves uh, nothing's going to change my mind on that it was just more comfortable a bit more ergonomic um but that being said the changes that have been made i got used to them i love the catcher it performed extremely well it closes like butter so you know i really can't fault it i think there are a few changes that didn't need to be made 
but after a, a good amount of use the changes have not impacted this in a negative way whatsoever so overall great catcher and last but not least the blocker again it's uh i was a bit skeptical on some of the changes that have been made to the blocker it's incredibly light it's uh a lot lighter than the previous axis model um which i say this in every video about every blocker that i use but i really like a light blocker um the light core construction has obviously contributed towards that so it's uh been thinned out ever so slightly obviously some lighter materials inside that as well uh the uh the flex motion two cuff um it's it's great it doesn't affect your, your mobility whatsoever it's um I kind of got used to the squareness of that in comparison to the previous axis one um, and there's really no issues there whatsoever. Um, on to a couple of things that they changed that you know I, I haven't particularly enjoyed, um, I have to be honest in these reviews. This velcro here is useless, um, just the way that it's shaped, unless you want it really really tight to your wrist, which personally I don't, you have to have this really loose and it's such a tiny bit of velcro that 9 times out of 10 that's coming undone within 10 minutes. So. If I was CCM and I wanted to make some improvements to this, I'd perhaps just improve how that's the shape of that Velcro and how that sort of attaches there. Uh, the other one as well, this sort of nylon plastic buckle strap, there was no need to change away from Velcro. Uh, the Velcro straps work fine. Um, I don't know if that's weight saving or what, but this, I tighten this every hour and it comes undone on here. And it's just just a bit of an annoyance with the, with the blocker there. So put that back to Velcro huge improvement um, when I first got this I was a bit skeptical about how much CCM has thinned out the palm uh, compared to their previous models but as I've got used to it you know there, there's no issues with that whatsoever it's just it just felt different and it caught me off guard to begin with but there's there's no issues with the thinner palm there um, after you know nine months of use there's other than just marks from my tape there's absolutely no holes or damage there whatsoever so incredibly durable palm which is great to see I was really worried that with a, a thinner palm would come sort of easier holes and more wear there but that hasn't been the case whatsoever um so the last thing and so the my little main criticism about the blocker is this curved palm protection which ccm i've done for donkey's years and in every other one has been stitched into the sidewall there this one isn't and it's just flapping in the way uh, there's no sort of sugar coating that really when you first sort of pick up your stick in the dressing room and sort of put it in your blocker there nine times out of ten I've got to try and move that out of the way it does sort of settle into place once your sticks in place and the glove sort of softens up a little bit but that that just needs to be stiffened up there um, there's there's no excuse for that to be floppy especially in an NHL spec blocker that needs to be a bit better there so um, so overall the blocker works fine um, you know it's protective it's it's mobile it pops rebounds off exactly where you want them um, it's comfortable there's just a few little attention to detail bits that all things that CCM changed from the previous axis blocker that didn't need to be changed and f in my personal opinion none of them have improved the blocker in any way um, they were like breaking what didn't or fixing what didn't need to be broken if you see what I mean so um so yeah blocker's fine it works fine there's just a couple little bits of tidying up that I think CCM need to do on their their next iteration of this blocker um, so that's it. That's pretty much my time with the Axis 2's done. I'll be looking to sort of move this set on in the next couple of months and uh, move on to other sets of equipment to review for you guys. Um, if you do have any questions or comments about this or anything else that we uh, we put on this platform, then do leave us a note in the comments or, uh, or drop us a message. And thank you as always for watching and please stay tuned for further reviews later in the year.